Hello. Welcome to today's lesson where we are looking at uh, exclusive and independent events. Uh, this is a, a lesson and uh, probability. You make sure that please, the lessons that we are providing, I think this is the seventh lesson that I'm presenting under probability. So you have to subscribe to this channel because it has all the lessons that one person may need from grade 10 up to 12 in preparation for their grade 12 exam as well as those of uh, you that may be writing your grade 9 exam even that uh, work it's here as per our syllabus the zambian syllabus mathematics okay so the channel has all the lessons that one person may need it provides more lessons possibly even more than what one may acquire from uh, from a, a, a class so let us look at these two events exclusive events when two events are exclusive they cannot occur at the same time if one of them occurs it means the other will not take place uh, for instance you can't have one person uh, you can't have one person passing or failing the exam i mean for one paper if you write a test in mathematics your passing and failing, those two are mutually exclusive events. They cannot occur at the same time. If one occurs, it means the other one will not occur. Okay? If one occurs, it means the other one will not occur. That is what we mean here. Two events are exclusive if they cannot occur at the same time. If one occurs, then the other one will not occur. Okay? So, before I go to this one, let me give an example here. So, if, if, this is just an example under the first one, an example here. Um, a die, a die is, a die is thrown, okay? find the probability find the probability find the probability of find the probability of obtaining a a 6 or a prime number a six or a prime a six or a prime number okay a six find the probability of obtaining a six or a prime number so what will happen here we're saying all this is exclusive gives us the all rule uh, the all rule we are either going to have a 6 or a prime number. What is the probability that we are going to have to obtain one of these if we throw or toss a die? A die, a, an ordinary die has got 6 sides. Okay? And we are saying those sides are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay? So, what is the probability of obtaining a 6 or a prime number? We are going either to have a 6. So what is the probability of obtaining a 6? A 6 from these options here, we only have what? 1, which is 1 over the total, which is the, the total uh, possibilities that were outcomes, that were uh, possible outcomes. There are 6, 1 up to 6. But a 6 that we expect to obtain here is just 1. Or it's a plus. Okay? That is what we are... We, we expect to get this or that, a prime number. So we are saying, how many prime numbers do we have? We have one, two, and three. We have three prime numbers. So it will be three over six. Are we together? So it is either we have this or that. So these are what we call mutually exclusive events. If one occurs, then the other will not take place. Okay. So then you ought to simplify this just. You're going to get four over six, which you will simplify as two over three okay so mutually exclusive events are events that cannot occur at the same time mutually exclusive events and then we have we are saying 
um, for mutually exclusive events, we are saying if this one occurs, if this one occurs, then this one will not occur, and the vice versa. And then if we have this case where we are saying A or B, this formula does it apply, and that is what I have just done there. And um, you have to understand that. Uh, then we come to independent events. When two events are independent, it means if the occurrence, the occurrence of one event is unaffected by the occurrence of the other. Okay? Let's take two people. Uh, if, for instance, if um, uh, you, are, you have written two subjects. Okay? You have written two subjects. When you write your test in those two subjects, your failing in mathematics or your passing in mathematics is not going to influence your passing in the RE. So, whether this result of this subject does not influence or does not affect the result of the other subject. Because we are talking about two independent events here. Okay? Two independent events. So that's what we are looking at. I hope you are getting the example. Okay? If two independent two independent uh, uh, events the occurrence of one does not affect does not the other one is unaffected by the occurrence of the other just like I did, I gave that example okay just like I gave that example here just like I gave that example so we are looking at uh, I can give an example also under this part let me give an example under this part um, the independent events Independent events, let me give the example. So we are saying the occurrence of one does not influence, okay? Does not affect the occurrence of the other. Like I was saying, if the probability, the example could be, uh, or let me just say, A coin and a die and a die are uh, 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 thrown. Okay, find the probability of obtaining of obtaining a head and a and an even number and an even number so we are saying we have a coin and a die then we throw them at once okay now so you you get to see now how independent these are two events that the result on the coin will not affect the result on the die okay so even when you look at this one we are saying find the probability of obtaining a head and there are two so that is what we are saying this is what the and rule the and rule the if these two events are independent then we multiply their probabilities so the probability of obtaining a head on a coin, you know that on a, on a fair coin, we have two outcomes and they happen at 50-50. The probability of the head is 1 over 2. The probability of, a, of, a tail, of obtaining a tail is 1 over 2. So for the head is what? 1 over 2. Okay? The probability of obtaining the head is 1 over 2. Then the probability of obtaining an even number on a die. What is an even number? We are saying an even number is a number that is divisible by 2. So from this, from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, 
The numbers that are divisible by 2, they are 3. So we are saying for even number, we have 3 over 6. These are the even numbers. Okay? So what are we supposed to do now to get the answer? To get the answer here, now we are not going to add. These two events are what? They are independent events. They are independent events. They are independent events. So we are going to multiply the probability of obtaining a what? Uh, of obtaining a head, of obtaining head, a head on the coin, and the probability of obtaining an even number on what? On a die. So if you want, this can still be simplified here to be 1 over uh, 2. Because it will still give us um, um, it will still give us the same thing when we, because this is going to give us three over twelve, which will still be one over four. Even if we multiply it two one by two, multiply one by two, we are still going to get the same. So these two mute, I mean independent events. As the word implies, they are independent from each other. They're happening on the, uh, the result on the coin will not affect the result of the, uh, the, the deck. So these two are what we call independent events. These two are what we call independent events. Mutually exclusive, we are saying if one occurs, they cannot occur at the same time. Okay? They cannot occur at the same time. Mutually exclusive events. And independent events, that is that. So I'm going to give you a simple exercise that you can as well do. And uh, I'll still give you maybe some examples that you may need to look at. This is an example on the... Uh, mutually, mutually exclusive, I think. I'm just trying to give you more examples. Uh, these are examples. Then on the... On the okay, uh, this continues on the other side. You are also going to see how the, this continues here. I'm just trying to give you more work. Okay. Trying to give you more work. These are also examples here. So read the other part, the last part here, and then you'll be able to understand. Okay. So there are these questions here that you can do. There are these questions here that you can do just for practice. Just for practice. There are these questions here that you can do. These questions here that you can do. Okay, this is uh, the old grade 11 textbook where these questions are coming from and um, wait for some, this, this topic I think I've presented about um, eight lessons or so, so you should be able to watch all of them, then it will be very helpful. Thank you so much, make sure you hit the red button there, subscribe to this channel, invite your friends. And uh, we, we get to, to be delighted when a lot of people are benefiting from our videos. Thank you so much once again.